from Taiwan. Is Flyfit in the room? Thank you. Okay. Hi, I'm Lewis, representative in Flyfit, specialized in fitness robot technology. So first, how many of you want to get healthier? Raise your hand. Okay. So how many of you are doing some sports or activities? Show me your hands. I believe that everyone do care about their health and fitness. So when you're walking to your office, training at the gym, or biking with your friends, how do you know how many calories you have burned, how many distance you have traveled, and how you perform overall? So we are making FlyFit the first smart ankle tracker in the market for fitness, cycling, running, and swimming. FlyFit helps users to keep track of their activities. Users do not need to take notes anymore. We help them make it. Also, FlyFit provides statistics analysis like sleeping qualities, calories burned, cycles, steps, working time, and different sports disciplines information. So when people are wondering why they aren't improving, they can watch and analyze their past performances. They can, they can make changes, compare with their friends, and improve with our app features. We have developed the gesture recognition technology and it is our business core value. It makes us unique and more accurate. So this technology enables FlyFit to auto-identify and tell the user if it is walking, climbing stairs, running, cycling, or swimming. So it can just tell. And we have patented this technology in several countries, China, Taiwan, the United States, and also Europe. So this is a very valuable asset we have. Nowadays, there are a few fitness trackers in the market but they are all specific and with limited functions. And FlyFit is an all-in-one fitness tracker. It can be used indoors and outdoors, so now users can have a full picture of their daily activities. We have launched our products on Kickstarter this year to test the market reactions. We exceeded our goal, funding 123,000 US dollars, with more than 900 backers and more than 1,000 pre-orders. All of this in only 40 days. So we are not just telling about an ideal product. We are making it. We are doing it. So we are now in our mass production stage, delivering our products to our backers and pre-orders in this week. So we are targeting our potential customers in the U.S. market. First, we are going to be partners and work with gyms and school PE classes. Trainers and coaches can have more interactions with their students. They can now not only watch how they're performing in the school or at the gym, they can now give them homeworks and watch how they're performing at home, making sports more fun and training more efficient. We are also going to work with running races, putting our technology, the gesture recognition technology, in the chips you get in the races and competitions. And there are 20 million of participants per year in the US. Finally, we are going to be compatible with the Apple's HealthKit app. And there are 63 million of iOS users, so we got a pretty big market size. So another form of profit is by providing our app service. We are going to have a free and a premium version. So we are going to charge a five US dollars per month, providing users more detailed insights, training plans, fitness tips and training materials, and also some personal coaching advices. So we are going to help users to improve and get better results. We now, now we are going and developing the sports market with our gesture recognition technology and in future years we are going to develop the physical fitness market including some weight training, dance, martial arts, and yoga. And also we are going to enter a very important market nowadays, the healthcare market, providing physical information like blood pressure, heart rate, and assist in rehabilitations. Finally, we believe that our technology can be used in reality and virtual games. So we are looking for partners that can help us develop the gaming market. This is our core team. They are our co-founders. Our CTO Jimmy is a graduate of University of South California, majoring in electrical engineering. And he has more than 15 years of firmware and hardware manufacturing experience. 
Our CEO Francis has ample experience in development products from concept to mass production, and he has more than 10 years of operation management experience. We also have very powerful Android and iOS software programmers, very talented designers, and a very strong marketing team. They know you are moving, we know what you are doing. We are a flight team, and we are going to change the whole fitness monitor user experience. Feel free to contact us for more information. We should uh, elaborate more about your patent position. You say is there a lot of similar products in the market, but what you say you have a patent protection. We have applied our patent. In yeah, what kind of patent? Of our technology, but we're now pending because it lasts some some time. Yes. China, Taiwan, United States. So you, you, technology is gesture recognition. Yes. You are the only one company who are using the gesture recognition for the sports movement to track. For the fitness tracking device. Yes. In the case, of how how much is the um, the consumption of the battery? The battery life. Okay, the battery once charged fully, it can be used. It can use seven days, and it lasts ten minutes to charge more than fifty percent and. One hour to charge probably. Do you have any estimated variance? For example, overestimate or underestimate, especially for arm oriented gesture, for example, because it is sexually embedded in your leg. So for imagine that if the sports is more of an aerobics, for example, it's more arm oriented, how to track it? Gesture, yeah. So we are going to develop that market because now we are concentrated in the leg, in the leg gestures, and making sports like bicycle, running, swimming, and about the hand we are, we are going to develop in future years. So in the physical physical fitness like weight training, martial arts, dance, and yoga. You got any data uh, for the accuracy? For, 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 the for the accuracy? For the, for the accuracy. The, the gesture condition make us more accurate because think about this, nowadays it's Four watches are wristband, and if you're shaking your friend's hand or driving your car, it will, it will record as activity, as sports, as calories burned, but now that not realistic. And so what, type, what type of sensors do you guys are using to try to sensor? Is this is this yeah, confidential because <laughs> this a commercial talk. <laughs> so our team is ambitious in terms of the US market because our Kickstarter experience we find out that most of our customers are from the US market. So we are ambitious going to the US market, developing our business and our market. Yes, we need some resources, some investors, angels, VCs and mentors that can help us. What's the, what's the retail price? The retail price now, now we are sitting in 169 bucks. Yes, US dollars. Uh, many detailed informations like speed, cadence, bicycle steps, street qualities, a lot. Can you talk more about your target audience? Because I'm not understanding this. You're measuring like a lot of things. Is this more for like is this more of a prosumer product or you know people who already exercise a lot and do a lot of sports or targeting customers in like in the middle level of sports. So they're they're targeting athletes in the middle middle level. So how big do you estimate that market to be? Uh, how, Not everyone, like, what, I guess, I saw those big numbers, but yes. I just wasn't convinced that all the we have you know, a, people who go to the gym are... market of running, of running people and swimming and biking, but uh, they didn't put here. It's a big market. 
I'm sorry, that's all the time we have for questions. Right. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, we'd like to welcome to 